I do indeed, and enough, much more feathers covering it. A very good afternoon to all of you, and welcome to the Sunset Safari. My name is Jamie, and this afternoon, Fergus is on camera, and we've been stuck in the rain. <laughs> Has it hasn't been off to the most auspicious start, our trip to the other side of the river. We're on our way towards the Black Rock Pride to go and have a look at those adorable cubs that James has been spending so much time with. But our attention has been drawn to this lovely hornbill with its, uh, I think it's a locust. It looks like something like that. Grasshopper of some description. What's also really interesting is just how furious the crowned lapwings are that there are ground hornbills in their area. They obviously have nests around here, and ground hornbills will raid the nests of other birds, especially ground nesting birds. So if I'm quiet for a second, you should be able to hear them screeching. There they go, dive bombing the hornbill. Incoming! Ah, uh, chicken down at the last minute. So this is the southern ground hornbill, and I apologize, I appear to have half of the bar up my nose. This is the only explanation I have for this. I've just sneezed about 20 times in a row. So it's going well, Ferg, it's going well. Doesn't seem, though, that the hornbill is interested in the nest of the crowd lapwings. It is instead focused on I'm not entirely sure what it's focused on. It's been carrying this locust around for the last five minutes. I wonder if it's got a youngster somewhere that it's going to take food to. It could be. It is entirely possible. And we are close to a couple of sort of forested areas that would work very well as a site for a ground hornbill nest. I mean, they don't typically breed at this time of year. Well, they're almost at breeding season in South Africa. I'm not sure what their breeding season is here in the Mara. But from October... Oh, it is October. From October to March. Who knew? When did that happen? But it's just... It keeps... <laughs> it picks it up, puts it down, and carries on. It's weird. Are you going to eat that, or are you going to take it to a nest, or what are you doing? Is it not that appetizing? Perhaps it's like a child that's been told to finish all his food on its plate. He walks around with cheeks puffed out, stuffed full of food. It's a fully grown ground hornbill. Sometimes what I have noticed is that they give gifts to each other, particularly the male to the female, that's his way of showing Okay, now we've got two. Do we have two now? I think we've got two. Often the male will present the female with a gift as a way of, of saying, you know, I can provide for you while you lay our eggs and look after our babies. All ground hornbills do, or all hornbill species do that as a way of showing that they can care for their mate. Oh, the lapwing's focusing on the hornbill off to the right. Oh, they've stopped now. I think this guy's just an overachiever. Trying to show just what an amazing job he could do. Doesn't seem so keen on sharing, though. Let's go forward a little bit. Oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, I got distracted by whatever this hornbill's after. CNAC, yes, they can feed on smaller mammals, especially if they were to come upon a something like a small rodent nest, if they were baby rodents, then yes, they absolutely would feed on small mammals as well. I've never seen them take on a fully grown rodent, but it's not impossible. They are quite powerful birds. We know that they break open tortoises, snails, so it's entirely possible they could go after something like a rodent. Interesting. It seems to be collection day. Everybody's walking away with gifts. Okay, that one that one at least ate them. Okay. 
While we puzzle over the behavior of our ground hornbill, we know, of course, that it is topi birthing season, and apparently one of James's lions has got her eye on a new arrival.